Hello and welcome. Happy 2020. This is going to be your reading for the entire month of January 2020. I hope you all are off to a great start this first week um, in January and the big changeover. I know I took a few days to just rest and recalibrate and uh, this changeover period was quite intense for me. So I really allowed myself the space uh, to heal and balance out and I hope you did as well. Uh, welcome back subscribers and welcome to those of you who are new. Um, I'm looking at doing readings a little differently. I'm gonna you know, kind of see how it goes, but this is gonna be your entire month reading. And then I'm gonna be doing a weekly readings for each of the elements. So you'll kind of have a weekly bump uh, for each element, so air, water, fire, and earth. So you'll be getting, you know, four to five readings a month versus just the two that I was doing. So hopefully that is helpful for you guys. Um, also, I'll be getting out your um, eclipse reading for the uh, the elements as well for the eclipse that's coming up on the 10th, 11th. So um, that will be at the full moon in Cancer. So starting off the year with a bang. Um, also, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live in the world. I literally have clients all over the globe at this point, which I'm really, really grateful for. Um, this is my full-time work. So uh, depending on where you live, we would schedule according to your time zone. So don't worry about that. And I normally do a 15% discount for your very first energy session, but for the new year and for the holidays and eclipse season, I am running a 20% discount for your very first energy session with me or as a first time energy client. So I'm hoping that can support you you know, to finish wrapping up and letting go of anything that you know you no longer need, balancing out, starting the year off clean and fresh and just in alignment with your highest and best self. So the energy therapy is really powerful um, in supporting you with that, especially with it being eclipse season. So again, I'm running a 20% discount for your very first energy session. You will see the link below as well as all the information on my webpage. You can read the testimonials. Um, you'll also see the link before I all I do um, nutrition coaching and counseling with the nutrition products that I, excuse me, that I use and that I love and have been using since 2008. So you can uh, email me or let me know if that is something that resonates with you. So that's it. Sorry for the long intro. We are going to get straight into the reading now. Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is your reading for January 2020. Happy New Year. I have already fully shuffled. So we're just going to get straight into your reading. Okay, interesting. Two knights and a page have showed up. So first card out. I've got is the Knight of Pentacles here. I do feel this is your energy. And the first thing I noticed, which I, I don't normally tune into this part of the card, but is how clear this background is. There's no clouds. There's no different colors. It's a very clear space. So I feel like for you guys, especially we are in Capricorn season right now, have you moved into January and this new decade feeling more clear of yourself, more clear of your path, um, kind of like the, the fog and the challenges and what you've been through has lifted because I'm feel, the energy that I'm feeling is quite solid. It's quite solid and almost like you know you now and you know the direction that you want to go in. And you're going to remain solid even when life brings forward maybe chaotic or fast energy with this Knight of Swords. I see it more as like, you're here just grounded, stable, like, I know what I'm doing, I know who I am, and this energy is going to come in and test you and try to knock you off balance or unground you a little bit or test your boundaries or something like that. And I just see you remaining calm, cool, and centered. So really, really beautiful. I just love the way these two cards are facing one another. Like you are moving in to this new year 
solid and grounded. Even amidst maybe chaos, maybe you have chaos going on around you in your relationships, in work, in family, and whatever that is, but you have found your center. You have found your center. I'm going to write that down. I might name your video that. I love that. And then the third card out we've got is Page of Wands. So you're moving towards more passion or new passion, new desire, new hobby, new things that really bring joy to you. So if you look at the way these three fell out, we've got the page and the knight both going in the same direction, okay, moving forward. They're both really admiring, like this knight is admiring this pentacle, this page is admiring this wand. So you may be taking more appreciation to the things around you, more appreciation to the opportunities that you have, the people that you meet, the situations that you find yourself in. So you're more present. I feel you really have to be present to see this. And it's like this unpresent chaotic energy, not even going to phase you. I feel like you're just going to continue to kind of move forward. Okay. Also just heard test. I think that Knight of Swords energy might be a little bit of a test for you. It's like you tell the, the universe, okay, I've got my boundaries. I know what I'm doing. And the universe is like, okay, let's test that boundary. The universe loves to give us tests. So I do think you are going to pass quite well. Let's see what else we've got for you, Capricorn. Beautiful. One more card, please. Awesome. Okay, the next card out, Eight of Wands. So this is interesting. This is fast-moving energy as well. Messages, ideas. Uh, travel, just forward movement. Similar to the Knight of Swords, but I want you to look at how different, these are both, both fast moving energies that can bring messages, but look at the difference in the energies on these two cards. That's you, that's a reflection of what you have grown through. So you're not even gonna be phased by this energy. By remaining cool, calm, and collected, the newness, the messages, the energy, the passion that's coming through you is going to be smooth and direct. Like, look at these wands are just gliding through the air, right? No resistance, which look at all the resistance on this card. So no resistance. Things I really feel for you, Capricorn, things are going to start picking up and moving, Things are going to start picking up and moving. We also, towards the middle or end of this month, we are going to have five planets in Capricorn. We're going to have Pluto, Saturn, Mercury, the Sun, Jupiter, all in Capricorn. Okay? That is going to create solid foundations for us to move forward. So new opportunities that are coming in, they are going to have a very solid foundation, which is awesome. Really, you know, we want that in a new year, moving forward through the next 12 months. Next up, I've got Strength and Judgment. So this Strength card has come out in almost every reading that I've done. And I feel it's such a huge message about inner strength, inner confidence, really trusting. You know, last year tested us. It really pushed all of us, all signs to trust ourselves and to really increase that inner confidence that we have. So I feel the strength card showing up in so many readings for this month is kind of confirmation of that. You know, we don't need this crazy, aggressive, go after, chase things down to get what it is that we want. When we find our center, and we connect daily with ourselves, with the universe, with the flow of life, things come to us. They flow. They flow without resistance. I mean, that's what this is saying to you, Capricorn. And then with the judgment card, that gives you an opportunity for forgiveness, for healing, for anything, you know, that maybe still needs a little bit of effort. I always feel these little characters down here are situations, people, 
um, things in your life that need a little bit of awareness and a little bit of attention. Maybe some forgiveness. If there's anybody that you feel that you need to apologize to or to ask for forgiveness, now is the time. The, the eclipse season is really supporting us in that. And that's going to leave space for a rebirth, a new birth, a new beginning. So this judgment here with the strength card, I just love that. It's a very powerful com com combination because you've got the strength. You know, you're not going to get thrown off. You can work through the difficult challenges or relationships that maybe you're dealing with, but it's going to be from a more loving place because you're able to have forgiveness. You're able to feel more from the heart. There it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. Next up, we've got the world card. So strength, judgment, world. Bam, all in a row. This is the cycle coming to completion. This is the wholeness that you've been striving for. So congratulations, Capricorn. I feel like this past year, I know with the readings that I've done for you guys, it was a very difficult year. You were tested in a lot of ways, as we all were. Um, but this world card is really showing that you've come out on the other side. You're in a more whole and complete place right now. If there was karma that was clearing and that you were dealing with, that is also filtering out. Which is why I think you're moving forward on such a more stable and grounded space, right? And then I love it. After that comes the Three of Cups, which is celebration. I think because you're in a better place within yourself, you're going to have the desire to be more social, to spend time with friends, to, you know, get together and celebrate and just enjoy life without the chaos, without the heaviness. You know, we left a lot of that heaviness in last year. So celebration, connecting with those who resonate with you is a really beautiful thing. And you're just moving forward. You're leaving behind any of this rough waters here. Any of these rough waters, you're just like done with. Moving forward. And I think that has, you know, goes to say maybe you've had some um, not so positive thinking or not so positive beliefs or thoughts about yourself or about others around you. And you're also going to be leaving that behind because that can store in the mind as anger, okay, or as upset. And I just feel you don't have the time or the space for that anymore, Capricorn. So let go of the grudges, let go of any upset, move forward on your highest and best path. Amazing reading. I really love this for you guys. Okay, I'm just going to clarify. Yeah, so the Knight of Swords, I am clarifying with the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to get your offers regardless, but they're going to be coming through much more solid. So if you have maybe, you know, a little bit unstable offers or people coming your way in the past, I feel that is a thing of the past. You're going to have a lot more stability this year, Capricorn. A lot more stability. Because you've gone through the karma, you've gone through the cycle. Okay, and you're moving towards... A big, wide, open heart. I feel the King of Cups is representing the heart space. Not the mind, not the mental energy, but the heart space. And you're moving towards a more heart-centered path. We need the mind energy. Both are very important, but it's learning to balance the two so we're not being dominated by one or the other. So I do feel you've got romance wanting to come in, love, passion, desire, so I think this month, Capricorn, I'm kind of feeling this is like a month of transition for you. You're like transitioning out of the old, out of 2019, and January, you're going to be tested a little bit. You're going to be shown how solid you are and how much you've grown. So make sure that you do take a moment to just give yourself some kudos and acknowledge yourself for what you've been through because you are moving forward. So even if you do get tested this month, know, hey, it's just a test. 
and try to bring your awareness to how you handled the test differently than maybe you would have in the past. Because you're like, you've shed the layers, man. I just can feel that. Okay, let me see if there's any last reading for you. Is there any last message? Yeah. Oh, I love it. The last message is, ta-da, balance. You guys are really reaching balance in body, mind, and spirit. I feel you've shed the layers, you've gotten the clarity, and now you're just doing the action to move forward. But I think you're going to remain in balance. Any chaotic energy that's been around you, I feel you have filtered through or filtered out of that. So that's amazing. Beautiful reading. I hope that resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, or your Jupiter. Um, thank you for your comments below the video. I really love reading all your comments. So thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I literally have clients all around the world, which I'm so grateful for. And we would schedule according to your time zone. So no worries on that. This is my full-time work. So thank you for keeping me so busy week after week after week. It's almost March will be two years that I've been full-time um, in my spiritual business. And I just, I love bringing through the messages for you and supporting you all on your journey. Um, so thank you for choosing me and for being here. Um, you can definitely uh, check out all the information is on my website, which is listed below. Normally I do a 15% discount for your very first energy session with me or as a first time energy client. But because of 2020, you know, the launch of 2020, we're just coming out of holiday season uh, and it's eclipse season. I am offering a 20% discount on your very first energy session with me. So 20% discount um, as a first time energy client. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. You know, it's a really powerful time to be getting any sort of energy work done. Uh, because of the kind of the changeover that we just went through, we're in eclipse season. So letting go of emotions and situations and things in our life that maybe we've been holding on to it's so such an easier time to be letting go and the energy session will absolutely support you in that and just really bring you into balance um, in body mind and spirit so you can you know be more connected and in alignment with your highest and best self. So again, the link is below. Take advantage of the 20% discount that I have for you. You can also read the testimonials on my website. So um, I think that's it, Capricorn. I'm wishing you a wonderful January. Uh, be looking out for, I'm going to be doing an eclipse reading for the 10th and also the weekly bump readings as well. Okay, take care.